What I got here today with me is an AI box brought to you by One Car Stereo. Yes, I believe that this product is actually very cool, but there might be some little caveats that you should know about before you just run out and go and buy it. This will work on any 2016 to 2023 or 2024 Camaro. Guys, you can even watch corn on this screen. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up, show you guys what it does, and kind of the caveats and little things that you know you want to know before you go into purchasing this kind of product. Go ahead and pop this little box open. Instruction manual, of course. Who needs that? You can watch my video and check this out. Box comes with two USB cables, a USB type C to type A and C to C, and of course the AI box itself. This actually feels like a pretty sturdy unit. It's not cheap, it's not super flimsy, it feels like it's built well. You could hook this up to make HDMI, you could add your own uh, memory stick that has your own movies on it if you didn't want to do the streaming through your phone. Or we could just hook it up to our cell phone right now, which is what we're going to do. Let's go. We're going to go ahead and use the CETA USB Type A. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. And this will work on all 2016 to 2023 Camaros. And in the Camaros, that is the bottom USB slot that we got in here. Boom. Kind of hit the ignition, plugged in. We're gonna go ahead and turn on our Bluetooth on our cell phone. Okay, and we could go ahead and see that the AI box is booting up as soon as we connect it to it. And boom, now we are inside the AI box. So basically what we gotta do is we just gotta enable our hotspot after initial setup. We got the one device connected on our hotspot. That is the AI box. If you wanna watch videos and stuff like that, this is the best way to go ahead about and doing it. And let's just go ahead and scroll and let's hit YouTube. And now we're already here. Let's go ahead and hit one of our Hot One LE videos. Of course, you could do this with any videos. Welcome back to the Hot One LE channel, guys. You guys have excellent taste. And yes, it does stream at 1080p. You could also come here and hit this and move this wherever you wanted to. This is how you kind of navigate. We could go home within the Android interface. Um, again, I'm using an iPhone to connect to this to display this up here. We could use YouTube. We could use a browser to connect to the internet and stream just like you would on your cell phone. We could go to like whatever websites you guys might be interested in going to, whether they be good or bad. Yes, if there's other video services such as corn go ahead and let gm parts direct load here now of course it's going to be dependent on how well your video service it or your cell service is um, you can see i was looking up some parts a little bit earlier so i'm going ahead and scroll on the internet and there we go let's take us back home we'll go ahead and go here and netflix is another one of those on a screen we're going to go ahead and come in and I could tell you right now, my cell service out here kind of blows. But it's what I got. Okay. And let's go ahead and just hit TV shows here. And we'll go ahead and play.
tell me this is not cool. All thanks to this little guy. My whole life, I had this unusual talent. Yes, I believe that this product is actually very cool, but there might be some little caveats that you should know about before you just run out and go and buy it. First caveat I'm gonna say is if you're streaming this with your phone, you gotta share the data over the hotspot. So you gotta make sure you have hotspot data with your plan. Most phone plans come with that stock anyway, so you can add your own video files. So if you download them and just add them to a USB file, you could just go ahead and play off of that too. You could play whatever you're looking at on the internet. It's really just straightforward. You connect it and it finally gives us the functionality that we actually need on the screens. Before, you can't watch any videos. You can't stream Netflix like I am right now. You can't do any of this on your car, but of course you're gonna wanna do this. Now, this will work on any 2016 to 2023 or 2024 Camaro. Of course, those haven't come out yet, but yes, it will work. Um, so one of the caveats are when you initially set it up, you have to connect it with Bluetooth to connect to the device and then set it up. You gotta make sure you do one thing now. You gotta turn off the Bluetooth and turn on wireless sharing on your cell phone or in your car if you have that set up and then turn off your Bluetooth. If you try to stream videos on just Bluetooth alone, it seems to struggle and kind of be slow. Of course, the manufacturer suggests that you use the hotspot and not the Bluetooth. The Bluetooth is just really initial setup and music or the kind of small tasks like that. Overall, you pretty much want to use the, the Wi-Fi sharing hotspot so that way it has complete cellular service. Bluetooth is not really meant for something of this amount of data. But again, if you have the cell service set up on your vehicle, you could connect it to that, and that would be completely sufficient as well. So overall, this little unit right here comes in around about a 200 bucks, give or take, and I think it is absolutely worth it if you wanna play some movies, if you're going for like a long drive. Now, of course, you don't wanna be watching the stereo while you're driving. However, it does give you that capability for your passengers. But with that said, the AI box to me is a home run. They have different models, different kinds that you can look into, ones with more available data on board. However, this one seems to work completely fine with me and at the price point, I can't really argue with it. I think this is a great product and I really think you guys should probably pick one up. So if you're interested, throw down in the comments, any questions, likes, subs are always much appreciated. And I'll be looking at you guys for the next video. Let's go.